Hello everyone and welcome to Östmarka, a forest just outside the capital of Norway. Now you may notice that my hair has gone a bit shorter than last time. Now that's due to the fact that I'm serving in the Norwegian military for a year. This means that I haven't been able to go out with my camera for over two months. So I'm really, really eager to finally get out and hopefully get some images. Now this isn't any old photo shoot I'm attempting to, uh, to do today. You see, today I'm attempting to photograph a rather special bird. Uh, and not just special in the sense that it's a cool species, but also special on an individual level. About one year ago, I photographed this crazy Western Capercaillie. And one of the images from the day actually got me an award, which I'm really proud of. And a few days ago, I got a message from a friend of mine saying that this very Capercaillie is back once again in the exact same location as it was last year. So now I'm heading out on a six kilometer hike through the fresh snow in pursuit of this, uh, this old friend of mine, you could say. getting much closer to the location where I photographed them last year. So I've put on some warmer clothes and now I'll start searching more systematically. So that can only mean one thing. Oh, I just, I see him now.
Now, it's no easy task to try and defend yourself and vlog and photograph. Because if this guy gets too close, he will give me a real beating. <laughs> Would you look at that? A wild western capercaillie. Now, as amazing as it is to be this close to a wild animal, from a photography perspective, it's incredibly difficult because if I get down low, he'll beat me up. And if I walk away from him, he'll follow. So, I don't really know how to, how to approach this. Now if you look closely on the scene behind me here, you might recognise it from the award winning image that I mentioned earlier. Because this is exactly where I captured that image. You see, this is actually a skiing track. And while I was photographing this guy, a skier came along. And he kind of panicked when he saw that the Capicali started following him. So he decided to just speed past. But then when he started picking up speed and uh, went by, the Capicali saw that as a threat and decided to go right after him. And he actually took to the wings and flew into the back of this poor skier and pushed him over into the snow. So you can see that in the image, the skier has some loose snow on his trousers, which is due to the fact that the Capicali actually pushed him over. So it just goes to show the sheer power of these, of these guys. What a weird creature. Finally, he's giving me a bit of space and he's actually posing on this little, this tiny little mound which has some great backgrounds with some old dead trees uh, which really shows off the character of the old growth forest that's such an important habitat for this creature but that brings me along to um, a bit about the, the reason for this really strange behaviour because as you may know uh, Capicales naturally are really afraid of people well, some Western Capicales go crazy during the mating season and the reason for it isn't completely known but a well-supported theory is that it's because of habitat destruction. Now, with industrial logging, which is a big part of Norwegian industry, um, large forest areas are chopped down and that fragments and ruins the habitats of the Capricale and it especially uh, disturbs the lexites and when they no longer have any lexites to go to uh, they tend to they tend to build up lots of hormones causing them to behave unnaturally and 
starts being aggressive towards anything that moves. So, despite this being a really cool experience for me, it's a bit of a sad story that lies behind. He's too close to focus. I think it's time for me to leave now. As much as I'd love to stay now, it's about the well-being of this creature. Because in nature, everything is fine-tuned to a perfect balance between life and death. So this guy doesn't have the energy to be going on and on and on. He needs time to rest and time to feed. And while I'm here, I'm disturbing him in his natural habits. So, now I've gotten my images, and it's time to leave. Wow. I'm gonna miss him though, that's for sure. <laughs> 
I don't think he'll miss me. Yeah. Time to pack up.